So, I'm Domenico Pratichizzo, I will give this lecture on uh, the art of manipulation in grasping. We will mainly uh, describe how manipulation works. And, uh, you know, I have this uh, tomato in my hand, which exactly shows uh, what we do while we manipulate it, okay? And uh, if you think about uh, the action of manipulating something, you can divide uh, this in mainly uh, three parts, okay? One is the reaching, because I try to reach the object I want to deal with, okay? Then I start establish a contact with the object, and then I move the object. So the main phases that we have in manipulation are three. One is reaching, the other one is uh, contact interaction, and then object manipulation. Hmm? All of them are very complex. Each one of them uh, includes a lot of uh, mathematics, uh, um, mechanics, and geometry, and uh, also other things that we need to study to, to understand. In this course, we will mainly uh, focus our attention uh, not on the rich phase, but mainly on the contact, interaction, and manipulation of, uh, of the object. This course will uh, uh, deal uh, with uh, methods, algebraic tools, not specific mechanical uh, design of robotic hands. So what you can uh, get from this course is always useful for uh, human hands, robotic hands, prosthesis, industrial grippers that deal uh, with object and many other things. So we will look at this course from, from an algebraic point of view. So we look uh, to models more, more than uh, technologies. <coughs> it's um, very important uh, to say that uh, nowadays the, the grasping part and the manipulation is very popular for one reason is, uh, is this one. So robotics is becoming very, very uh, popular. You will see more and more robots in our daily life. And if you think about, about a robot that interacts with the environment, then the real interface between the robot and the environment is the hand, is the robotic hand. So the only way that you deal uh, with the environment to a robot is the hand. So you need to understand how the robotic hands work. Otherwise, you don't know how to do with objects, okay? So it's uh, becoming very popular in uh, robotics, the study of uh, uh, robotic hands, because there are a lot of arms. Also, hands have been redesigned. They are more robust and uh, more uh, much cheaper and uh, more reliable, much easier to control. So it's very easy to deal with uh, these robotic hands and uh, as an engineer dealing with robotics it's very important to understand the mathematics of grasp and manipulation. <coughs> Another important thing why studying the, the hand is important is the interaction with the neuroscientist. <coughs> One of the main uh, things that we have in our body is the hand because the hand is probably the tool that uh, allowed uh, the organ that allowed us to develop our brain in a more advanced stage uh, with respect to the other animals because of the um, time that can create the grasp with object and then through the, the human hand we were able to, to create tools um, and manipulate the environment and we became in some way more intelligent. Actually this was the, the theory of the philosopher uh, Anaxagoras uh, in the ancient uh, uh, Greece. <coughs> so it's very, very important to understand how the human hand works also for humans and for a mathematical point of view. And this was a very nice interaction with the neuroscientist, because neuroscientists are interested in human grasps and are interested in human grasps through um, the modeling, through the algebra and the way we understand how the, 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 the object. Uh, can be can be many.